welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm doing something a little different today. I have really sensitive skin and it's hard for me to find products that don't break my hands out. So I've decided today I'm gonna do a DIY body butter. I've never done this before, but I think it'll be really fun and hopefully it works out. Um, I wanted to show you the things that I bought to use uh, for this little project. I got the Now Solutions Sweet Almond Oil, Now Cocoa Butter, and Garden of Life Coconut Oil. I got them at my local Sprouts, but you could probably also just get them on Amazon or the Whole Foods or wherever. Um, and then you need a measuring cup and a, I don't have a double boiler, so I'm creating one like this, um, but you're gonna need to heat things up and melt them, supposedly. So. Let's get to it, let's try this out. Okay, so the first thing that uh, you need is 100% pure cocoa butter. So don't go out and buy like a cocoa butter lotion, that's not gonna work. Um, you're gonna need uh, the good stuff. If you're in a hotter climate, it's gonna be like a little bit more runny and melted, it's super hot here and humid and gross. But you need three fourths of a cup of this. This is seven ounces. Um, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it because it's like a cup is what, eight ounces? Is that math? I don't know. I'm not saying I got good grades in math. This is starting out well. Okay, so I'm gonna put everything into this pan, starting with, ooh, ooh. Also, this smells like chocolate, that smells so good. Okay, so, this is actually really hard to get out. That's why I should have worked out. Maybe muscles would help. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that like that much in there. I would say this is three fourths of a cup. Sure, why not? Okay, so you saw how much I struggled pouring the last thing out. So I already poured out uh, the coconut oil in here. You're gonna need a fourth of a cup, which just kind of looks like a third, but I'm gonna pretend that it's a fourth. So you also, but this is also not hot yet. My stove is not hot. Also, I'm not gonna say my kitchen's fancy. I don't have bloggery, fancy kitchen. And that's life, that's what people say. Done. Okay, first off, my hands already smell amazing. Um, okay, we're gonna add like a little squeege of this. It's supposed to be like a tablespoon. But I can eyeball that, right? I know how to cook, not. Yeah, I think that was a tablespoon. Mmm, smells good. I'm laughing right now because I just realized, I was like, ooh, this smells good! And I was just like smelling my hands because this literally has no smell. Maybe yours does. This has no smell. But I just made a DIY double boiler. It would be better if you had a bowl, but I don't have a metal bowl. And I don't have a glass one that fits this pan. So I put water in here, I turned it on high, and I'm just gonna wait for all of this to melt down, which is probably gonna take a while, but I'll let you know how long it takes. I might be old by the time this melts. Wow, that took ages. Hey, Mom! Okay, so now that this is melted, you're gonna want to um, like take a fork or something and you wanna make sure it's all like mixed together. Uh, and then the next step is you're going to put it into a bowl and then put it in either the fridge or the freezer, whichever you have uh, room for. It's supposed to cool to the consistency of like Vaseline or something. So like if you took your bowl and you poured it upside down, like it wouldn't fall out of the bowl, but you could still like poke it and it would be a different consistency than what this is. It's just supposed to cool a little bit. So I'm going to now take this and pour it very carefully into a bowl. I'm acting like an, an expert, like I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Okay, so I just took it out of the refrigerator and I'm gonna be honest, that took quite a while. But um, you see this consistency, it's like a little harder on the outside, but it is like a, it kind of is a Vaseline-y color. So now you whip it. Whip it good, whip it good. Um, so you're gonna whip it until it's the consistency of like, like a whipped cream cheese or something. And 
as you can tell right now it's yellow but it's supposed to get to like a white color so it's supposed to take like five minutes be patient okay it's medium speed you guys i did it i'm done okay it's basically like the consistency of a frosting it smells like frosting and looks like frosting and i want to eat it but i'm not going to um but look at that okay so i'm gonna put in these i got these cute little mason jars. I actually can't find these on Amazon, but I linked some really cute mason jars um, down below if you want to get something like this. Oh, I'm so excited it actually worked! How cool is this? Also, this would be a really good gift. You could make like so much of this and then just like gift it to somebody. Okay, so now I actually just put some in my hands because it's amazing, but what you're supposed to do is, I'm gonna close this up, and you're supposed to leave this like in the refrigerator or something again so it hardens a little bit and solidifies more for like, I don't know, as long as you want to. I'm gonna do it for like 24 hours. How cute is that? So, 24 hours from now, I'm gonna have some good stuff. Although I'm gonna use it now too. Oh, oh, it worked, it worked! Okay, you guys. It's been 24 hours. We put this in the refrigerator um, and it turned out so good. Bella, smell this. Does it smell yummy? You want to touch it with me? And then rub some on your hands? It's like a lotion. Mm, oh. Ooh, do you like this? Does it feel nice? I'm so proud of us, Bella. High five. High five. We did it. It's successful. This is awesome. I would give this as a gift for a birthday. Could you say happy birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, well, Bella and I are going to be making some fun stuff soon, some fun beauty items. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you want this recipe, I will link it down below. It's super easy. This is really fun. It's a fun activity also to just do with your kid if you want to. I, I didn't include her, but next time I will. Um, and also, if you like this video, please actually like this video and subscribe to my channel. My channel. To our channel. All right, yeah. say like this video. Like the video. And then say subscribe. Okay. Do what she said. Bye. Bye.